everybody, it's Candy from The Candy Show, and I'm here today with a tutorial that I'm calling Drugstore Diva. There was a time when it was really hard to get decent cosmetics at the drugstore. It really put your look together from there. You had to go and spend a lot of money on high-end products. However, I find in the last five to eight years, drugstore uh, cosmetic brands have really come a long way. They're really upping their game. And it means that if you're on a budget um, or you just choose to want to spend your money on something besides $40 for a foundation or $25 for a lipstick, you can get a really great look. I have done this entire smoky eye uh, bright lip look using nothing but drugstore brand cosmetics, including the brushes. So everything that I'm using in today's, today's tutorial come from the Lawton's Drugstore and Shoppers Drug Mart, two Canadian drugstore lines, um, including some e.l.f. products, which you can find sporadically at uh, Walmart, sometimes at Lawton's, and also online, but they're all $1 products. So... So if you want to know how you can get this sexy, smoky look for a night out on the town that'll leave you enough money to buy some drinks and your cab fare to get home, please keep watching. So I'm going to start with my Ramel Fix and Perfect Primer. Uh, comes at, I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart. It's got a little bit of an apricot tinge to it when it comes out, but it disappears quickly on your face. And then I always like to keep my lips moist while I'm putting my makeup on. So a nice affordable uh, lip softener is Soft Lips. Soft Lips there. And I'm using the, the uh, vanilla, the sweet vanilla. I'm going to start with my Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse. And I'm going to use my $2 e.l.f. brush to put that on. It's an e.l.f. powder brush. But how I like to do it is just pat it around my face. I like to really make sure I get that worked in nicely so that it's not sitting on top of the skin but is pretty much buffed into the skin. I'm then going to take my Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline Concealer, which has this neat little tip on it, get some of the product up, and I'm just going to go in and cover the spots that need covering. Then I'll just use my clean fingers to set my concealer in. Now, just to take some of that shine off my face, I'm going to use my Milani Powder Foundation. And um, I use 02 Fresco. And I'm just going to take the sponge that's in the bottom of the package, get some of the product on the sponge, and I'm just going to use it to pat my face. Just everywhere that I've got some shine, help even out that color a little more. Now, I always like to put a little bit of bronzer on, and while I have a lot of high-end bronzers that are fantastic, there are some really incredible drugstore bronzers now. One of my favorite are the Rimmel London Natural Bronzers, and you can get these in two different colors. You can get the Sun Dance, which is this one, which has a tiny bit of, of shimmer in it, iridescence. You see it there? And then you can just get the, I think it's called Sunlight, the other one, and uh, it's a matte bronzer. So I'm going to use the Sundance because it has a little bit of action to it. And I'm going to use my Eco Tools brush, nice, uh, inexpensive, but really effective brush, and just get a little of that around the edges of my face, just to give me a little bit of color, a little on my nose, my chin, and then down my neck. There, now I'm going to get going on the nice smoky eye. I'm going to use this great Maybelline Natural Smokes palette, and this is in the color Charcoal Smokes. See what great color that is? And they really give you like a little grid here, so you, you kind of can't go wrong. They tell you exactly how to use it. Uh, and I'm going to use first an Eco Tools brush, just a little flat Eco Tools shadow brush. In fact, this might even be the concealer brush, but that's all right. And I'm going to pick up some of this color for the lid. That's marked lid. And just pack that on the bottom part of my lid. Now I'm gonna take my $1 e.l.f. brush, which has a bit of a dome on it, and I'm gonna go in with this crease color right here, and just lay that into my crease.
There we go. So see the effect we've got so far. Now I'm going to take another cheapy e.l.f. brush. This is another $1 e.l.f. brush. And I'm going to go in with this highlight color, this large color right here. They call it a base, which you could have put it all over the whole lid before you started, but do it however you like. I like to just go in and use it as highlight after. So I'm going to put that right between the where I put that crease color and the brow and just use it to really kind of um, blend out that rough edge, that sharp edge. And once you have that blended out really nice, you see that nice smooth gradation. I'm going to go in now and line my upper lashes and I'm going to use this CoverGirl Line Exact eyeliner. And this is in, I think it's called Black Platinum or Blackest Black or something like that. It's just like a little pen. It's adorable. It's so easy to use. Sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm so struggling with my new camera, like trying to figure it out. There you go. See what a nice little tip it has. And I'm just going to line my upper lash line. So while I'm letting my liner dry on my upper lid, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast Eyeliner. And this is in, it's black. And I'm going to use it to line my lower lash line. Now if that line's not perfect, don't worry about it because we're going to smudge it out. But I'm also going to go into my water line and line it. Kind of try to get that as close to your lashes as possible. And I'm going to tight line my upper waterline as well. Now I'm going to take my Coastal Sense pencil brush, which I got in a package. I think it was $6.99 for six brushes. Incredible price. And I'm going to go back in now with this charcoal black right here, which they're calling the liner color. And that's exactly what I'm going to use. I'm going to just tap my brush into it. And I'm going to go over the liner. I just did both the liquid and the pencil liner because I love the look of a little bit of shadow smoked out on top of liquid liner. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I have this $1 e.l.f. blender brush, which I haven't used yet in this look. And I'm going to go in again with that lid color, get a little bit of that on, and just put some accents in now on the inside of my eyes, the inner corner. Now I'm going to go in with my one of my favorite brow colors. Actually, I use this all the time, whether I'm trying to do dime store look or not. And I think it cost me three or four bucks. It's my NYX uh, brow cake powder. Um, in dark brown brown and when I'm in a pinch I won't even use uh, professional tools I use these tiny little brushes that actually come in the kit so take the little spoolie and just get your brows brushed out into place kind of where you want them and then I take the tiny little applicator brush and I dip it in the wax a little bit and then I dip it in the darkest color because I have very dark hair and um, my brows need to be a little darker. And then I just work it in through my brows to fill in any sparse spots, which my brows, although grow all over my face, it seems, are very sparse and thin in places. So I like to just fill them in. Now I'm going to take my $1 e.l.f. eyelash curler and curl my lashes. I'm going to use my CoverGirl Lash Blast, oh, that's my date sticker. I always, on my mascaras when I open them, put a sticker giving me the date three months from the date I open it because I hate trying to do the guessing game, trying to remember when I open a mascara so I know on June 1st I'll throw this mascara out. Um, but yes, it's the Lash Blast Luke's. CoverGirl mascara. Any of these mascaras from CoverGirl, whether the orange or the purple or this reddish pink um, tube, I think they're all great mascaras. And that's what I'm going to do today with this look. There. I'm going 
gonna go in and put a little blush on and I'm gonna use my Milani Minerals blush in Mai Tai, which is one of my favorite drugstore brushes. And I'm just gonna use my Eco Tools blush brush to put it on. And I'll put it kind of back on the back parts of my cheeks. A little bit of circles on the outside of the apples and moving it back. I like to smile at myself when I put blush on because it makes it easier to find my cheeks, especially if you're chubby like I am. I mean, I'm a little more than chubby, but you know what I mean? If you have chubby face, um, when your face is like this, it's hard to figure out where your cheeks are. But when you smile... Now, I don't want a heavy, heavy lip, but I want my lip to pop because everything is so dark around the eyes. So I am going to go in with my Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain and Balm, and I am going to use this in the color Flame. So I'm going to use the back of my hand to just take any of the extra uh, soft lips that's still on the lips. And I'll use the stain side of this. I use it almost like a liquid liner. Once you get the color on, come back in with the bomb side. And there you have it. A dime store look on a super budget, but still nice smoky eye, nice bright lip, everything you need, good coverage on the foundation. So there you have it, folks, my final look with the smoky eye and the red lip. I'm ready for a night on the town. I've got money left over to have a good time with, and I did it all on a real tight budget using nothing but drugstore product. Thanks so much for watching the video today. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there, wherever you are. If you are heading out on the town, please remember not to drink and drive and wear a condom each and every time. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.